Hi, my name is Shawful and welcome to another one of my videos where I talk about the real world of data. Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about when people talk about you being tracked on the internet, how are you actually being tracked and how do people know um, that you've been to different websites? So I'm just gonna go through sort of the basic concepts of how people are tracked across the internet. So I've worked in this space for quite a long time, even before Google Analytics became popular and you could just put a JavaScript tag uh, on your website. I've worked with sort of ad servers um, and even worked in a company where we've uh, developed our own tracking to capture video. So at the time, um, th there wasn't really a good tracking solution to capture video content. Um, so when people were viewing, how long they were viewing. So uh, working with the developers, we developed a solution where it was called the behavior capture module. You'd put the piece of code on the website and it captured uh, the, the contents of the video um, as well as a lot of the metadata. So we knew what video was being um, watched by viewers. So how are people tracked on the website? So at a simple level, this is how it works. So if you have a website, okay, you would put, let's take Google Analytics as an example, you'd put a little code a Google Analytics code and what will happen is that in Google Analytics you can have all your data about um, your visitors, how many pages they visit, what page views they visit, all that kind of information. So at a basic level if you're on a website someone comes and they can um, and they visit the website what happens is that the owner of the website can put a Google Analytics tag on that website and see um, what you're doing on that website. So let's call that website A. The same is if you visit another website, okay, and that's also got a Google Analytics tag. Again, the owner of that Google Analytics can see what you're doing, okay, and they will know what you're doing. So you've got person here, they visit two websites, and let's say they visit a third website, and let's call that website C. Okay, and also let's say that's got a Google Analytics um, and the person, the owner of the website can see all the activity that you're doing on that website. Now, what happens here is that when you visit this website, only the owner of website A can see what you're doing on website A. They can't see what you're doing on B or C. Okay, so when you visit C, when you visit B, for, sorry, only the owner of website B can see what you're doing. And when you visit C, only the owner of website C can see what you're doing. So that nobody knows that C doesn't know what, what you're doing on A, A doesn't know what you're doing on B. Okay, so that's uh, how at a simple level you're tracked. Now if you take something like an ad server, so let's say owner A, uh, website owner A would like some advertising. So they've got a, uh, an ad slot here, website B has an ad slot, website C has an ad slot, and they all subscribe or they all use the same ad server. Okay, so let's say they all use ad server X, Y, Z, okay? So what will happen is you visit um, website A and this ad server sends you an advert. You visit website B and this ad server sends you a, 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 an advert. And you visit site C and this ad server sends you a website. Now, interestingly, the ad server XYZ does know what you're doing on A, what you're doing on B, and what you're doing on C. So if you visit different pages where there's advertising, not only does it deliver ads to those pages, it also takes information about those pages because one of the things the ad server must do is report back to the advertiser who's advertising on site A where they delivered the advertising. So if you're, for example, um, an automotive, so if you're a car manufacturer and you want to deliver a, a web, a, you want your ads in websites sites which are uh, around cars. So for example, let's say uh, website A is a, a men's magazine and they've got a section on the cars and you want to advertise them that the website needs to know that this is a men's uh, magazine website and that there is a section on cars, okay? Now when you visit that section on cars, the web server now knows that you visited uh, that web, uh, the section on cars. And eventually if you're on B, and let's say B is a website around um, <clears throat> travel, okay, and C is a website around um, hotels, okay? So now suddenly the ad server XYZ knows about your automotive preference, it knows about what you're doing in terms of travel, because you might be looking at certain sections, so the website could be organized in terms of like UK, Europe, uh, Asia, North America, um, and they know what parts you're, uh, you're browsing because they're delivering advertising into those uh, pages or sections, therefore they're getting that data back about you. 
Um, and finally, website C, um, maybe, like I said, it may be about um, hotels, so they know that you're potentially looking for booking a hotel in, in certain areas. Okay, so what you have at a simple level, like I said, is that you know, you've got each owner of each website can only see the data about their own website. However, things like ad servers can see data across multiple websites. Now, here's another thing. Let's take a website like Facebook, okay? So if you've got Facebook, okay, and they've got their own tracking, it's not GA, it's their own custom tracking, okay? Now, what happens is that this custom tracking, Facebook has information about you and you know, they, they know what you're doing on Facebook, pretty much everything. But what happens is that some other websites do put Facebook tracking cookies because they might want to do um, uh, retargeting or they may want to look at, find audiences that, are th that visit their website. So let's say audience site C, for example, let's take site C decides it wants to put a um, Facebook tracking cookie. Now what happens is that Facebook also knows, I'll go right around here, what you did on site C, even if you're not logged in. Because what happens is that when you visit Facebook, they drop a cookie, okay, um, or some kind of ID, and they identify you. Okay, so even if you logged out, in your browser, you've got that ID still. So when you actually go to site C, which also has a Facebook pixel, tracking pixel, it, it will pick up that cookie ID, and they can match you. So their Facebook knows what you do on Facebook, but also on other websites where there are um, Facebook tracking cookies. Okay, so that's really a simple way on how uh, users are tracked across the website, across the internet. Um, as you can see, um, certain things are restricted just to the website owner. Other things people see across multiple websites. And also certain website owners like Facebook may have their own tracking pixels that other people use. Um, and you can imagine primary, like I said, they do use it for um, uh, retargeting or finding uh, similar audiences, but also for social logins. So if you're using social logins, then you'll find that the same tracking pixel is deployed and therefore they can uh, track you across multiple sites, even if you don't log in. Okay, well, thank you for listening to my videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please jot them down below. Please like the video. And of course, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.